Statistically, Sarah Hagen was not only one of the most dominant players in Panthers history, but also in NCAA history as she finished ninth on the NCAA Division I scoring chart with 93 career goals, while her 212 points ranked 17th. In addition to her numerous individual accomplishments, which included being a four-time All-Horizon League and All-American selection, as well as a three-time Horizon League Player of the Year pick, the Appleton, Wisconsin native helped Milwaukee to four straight regular season titles and four NCAA tournament berths. Behind the feats of Hagen, the Panthers won over 74% of their matches, including an incredible 29-3 ledger in Horizon League play. Sarah, who currently plays professionally for the Orlando Pride, was a two-time semifinalist for the Herman Trophy, presented every year to college soccer's top player. She also competed for the United States U23 national team at the Four Nations Tournament in 2011. There, she scored a goal in each of her team's three matches. Sarah Hagen. It's not just about scoring goals. She was also a fantastic teammate, uh, very supportive. She had a wonderful personality. Um, I think the... Uh, some telling things as well. She was very driven to improve. Um, when she came in, she tested very average in a lot of the areas and physical, uh, you know, fitness and strength and certain things like that. By the time, uh, you know, she was a senior, she got called into the national team and, and that had kind of lit a fire in her. And uh, I think she realized really what she was fully capable of. And uh, it really took off. I mean, she really applied herself and started to work really, really hard. Um, and, uh, you know, in every aspect, I think she kept improving, and to me, that's that's more telling than anything else. She, um, I mean, I want to read something to you from freshman year when we were um, recruiting her. This is what Mike said about her. I love Sarah's composure, great sense for the game, tall and strong, and is able to hold the ball extremely well. She's also tremendous in the air and strikes the ball very well. Sarah will immediately give us a different type of attacking presence that we have not had in years. She definitely did. The years before. We only scored, uh, let's see, 30 goals a year, and Sarah averaged 25 a year for three years herself. So um, Hall of Fame worthy in the field just from that alone. Um, just the ability to, to score, the ability to set other people up, um, just her talent, the ability to draw attention that freed other people up uh, made our team better. And she was just a dynamic um, personality. Um, that other players were very much attracted to and wanted to be with and wanted to play with. Well, I know she's still playing and I, uh, I hope she continues to play as long as she can. I think she's an unbelievable talent. Um, you know, the higher the level you go, the, the tougher it gets, but um, she's already gone on and done so much. And uh, I think the number of people, you know, even since I've moved on from Milwaukee, Sarah's moved on. Uh, she still unites a lot of people, you know, through her play, and I still get people contacting me and, and asking about Sarah and how she's doing, and uh, and people that are still watching her and following her, and I know it it inspires an awful lot of people. So, keep doing what you're doing, and, and keep doing it well. You know, again, we can talk about the goals, and we can talk about her her abilities on the field. I think um, her ability to lead the team in 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 her play. I think every time we would play somebody. Um, uh, other teams would always want to know where Sarah Hagen is and and again I think that drew so much attention to her she welcomed that attention she fed off of it she fed off the um, uh, the energy that the opponents trying to stop her um, uh, made and 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 she was really she really pushed herself to try to be better and lead the team with a goal, assist, any way to get the team back and win the, win the championship. She was a winner, she is a winner, um, and I think that galvanized the team, and she was very, very good. I don't think I even told Sarah, but during her playing days, uh, she was the envy of many, many coaches. Many coaches were, you know, uh, coming to me. I, I remember hearing about um, one school in particular that uh, they'd have coaches in the stands and people like, you could have got her and you didn't, you know, now she's here and she loves it. And 
you know, which made us feel very good. But I actually had uh, trade offers for Sarah. I've never had that for any other player in my career. And uh, I remember uh, one school in particular offered three players up for Sarah, uh, and they were good players. And I said, no way, we're not, we're not giving up Sarah. So um, very glad we hung on to her, and, <laughs> and she stayed her full four years to, to set all the records that she did. Sarah, congratulations and welcome as a member of the 2016 UWM Bud Haiti Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Sarah. Welcome to the Bud Haiti Hall of Fame.